Have you ever wondered how far we can push the boundaries of space exploration? Meet NASA's Voyager 1, the most distant human-made object now drifting in interstellar space. For nearly 45 years, Voyager has journeyed beyond our solar system, revealing the universe's vastness and reminding us of how small our planet really is. Despite its mission being designed for just a few years, Voyager continues to send us data, and recently it transmitted a potentially alarming message that could change everything we know. What exactly are these signals, and how might they affect us? NASA originally thought the Voyager mission would only last five years when it launched in the summer of 1977. The idea for the mission came about by accident when Michael Minovich discovered that a spacecraft could use a planet's gravity to travel further into space. Both Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 have far outlasted their initial plan and continue to send back valuable data from deep space. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 were launched within weeks of each other with a goal of studying Jupiter and Saturn. After successfully exploring these planets, Voyager 2 made history by being the first spacecraft to fly by Uranus in 1986 and Neptune in 1989. These visits to four planets were known as the Voyager Grand Tour. After completing this mission, the spacecraft continued their journey to explore even further into space. In 2013, NASA announced that Voyager 1 had reached the edge of our solar system and entered into interstellar space, the region between stars where the Sun's influence ends. Voyager 2 followed suit in 2018, traveling 17.7 billion kilometers from the Sun. Today, Voyager 1 and 2 are the only spacecraft to have ventured into interstellar space where they study how the solar wind interacts with the interstellar medium, the matter found between stars. The Voyager spacecraft have also provided crucial information about the heliosphere, a protective bubble around our solar system. The heliosphere is shaped by the sun's solar wind and interstellar conditions. The boundary where our solar system meets interstellar space is called the heliopause. Voyager data has given scientists new insights into this boundary, showing that cosmic rays are about three times stronger outside the heliopause than inside the heliosphere. Combining Voyager's data with information from other missions has helped scientists better understand the Sun and how the heliosphere interacts with space beyond. In 2022, it was discovered that Voyager 1 had picked up a humming sound from waves in the sparse gas of interstellar space. Nicola Fox, head of NASA's Heliophysics Division, praised the Voyager missions for their unique contributions to our knowledge of the Sun and its influence on the solar system. Over the past 45 years, Voyager 1 and 2 have provided insights unmatched by any other spacecraft. Both Voyager spacecraft use a thermoelectric power system fueled by plutonium. As the plutonium decays, it produces less heat and power. To manage this, NASA has turned off all non-essential systems and several previously necessary ones, including heaters that protect instruments from the extreme cold of space. Despite this, all five instruments on the spacecraft have been operating without their heaters since 2019. NASA scientists are still astonished by how the Voyager spacecraft continue to function well beyond their expected lifespan and in temperatures far colder than originally designed for. These spacecraft have ventured into the outer regions of our solar system, where scientists are noticing something unusual. Recently, there have been observations of strange activity at the heliopause, which is the boundary that separates the solar wind from the interstellar medium. This boundary, where our solar system meets interstellar space, appears to be behaving unpredictably, with unusual ripples and angles forming in ways that were not anticipated. The idea that the heliopause might not be a fixed boundary has been around for some time, 
but new data from Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, as well as NASA's Interstellar Boundary Explorer, or IBEX, satellite, has shed more light on this phenomenon. These spacecraft have been instrumental in collecting information about the energetic neutral atoms, or ENAs, produced when solar winds collide with the interstellar medium. This data is crucial because it helps scientists understand the interactions at the edge of our solar system. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 have provided unique direct measurements of the heliopause's location, but these measurements are limited to just one point in space and time. To get a more comprehensive picture, researchers relied on data from IBEX, which complements the information from the Voyager spacecraft. By analyzing data from these sources, scientists can create models that predict how the heliopause might change in the future. Princeton University space physicist Eric Zernstein noted that IBEX's data is essential to improving our understanding of these far-off limits and their behavior. The dynamic barrier where the solar wind and interstellar medium meet is known as the heliopause. But these studies have revealed facts that contradict previous hypotheses. Brightening ENAs were detected by the IBEX spacecraft in 2014, indicating that the heliopause contains asymmetries that fluctuated over many months. Weiss said that this data did not fit the models that were in use at the time. Subsequent examination of the data from Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 indicated a notable shift in the heliopause, which accounted for the interval between the spacecraft's arrival into interstellar space in 2012 and 2018. Researchers find these differences fascinating and perhaps challenging since this moving border defies earlier assumptions. A recent report that was released on October 10th highlights the necessity of more research on the heliopause. NASA plans to investigate this strange area further with the launch of the Interstellar Mapping and Acceleration Probe in 2025. Furthermore, the Attitude Articulation and Control System, or AACS, of Voyager 1, which maintains the spacecraft's high-gain antenna pointing toward Earth, started transmitting odd data in May. The heliopause's unanticipated movement and the problem that was published in Nature Astronomy contribute to the ongoing mystery and debate surrounding these findings. NASA has observed a unique problem with the Voyager spacecraft, characterizing it as a state similar to electronic aphasia, in which the systems of the spacecraft appear to lose their capacity for efficient communication. Because the data being generated seemed random or did not precisely represent the spacecraft's status, this circumstance caused considerable uncertainty. To this day, both spacecraft, which have become approximately 45 years old, have exceeded the bounds of the initial mission. They are entering a territory which no spacecraft has ever gone to, and this makes their actions outstanding. What do you think of the Voyager 1 mission and its struggles? Drop your comments on the discussion in the comment section provided below.